It ain't what folk call you, it's what you answer to. Let them say whatever the hell they want to say. Half the time, they're just jealous anyway. But this is what I found out. This is what I found out. You listen to me. All that matters is that when you wake up every morning, you look in the mirror and God is pleased with your life. That's what matters. Sometimes it's hard, my dear. I get embarrassed. Why? Because my mother's in jail. Honey, just because your mama was something and your dad was something, that don't mean you have to be it. You can be whatever you want to be in this world, no matter where you come from. Welcome back. You ain't got time for them little boys? No way. You're too smart. I went through your book bag, so you got to be on every report. You don't need to be talking to them boys. You went through my bag? Yeah. <laughs> the children don't have no privacy in my house. I got to go through everything. You can have all the privacy you want when you sign your first lease. I guess I am smart, yeah, huh? Yeah, Tony, you're smart. You know, my last foster mother, she told me that the only thing I was ever going to be smart enough to do was lay on my back. A grown woman told you that just because she tests mattresses for Nassau don't mean that you have to sit there and believe me. Let me tell you something. People are going to talk about you to the day you die and ain't nothing you can do. But let folks talk. And don't worry about you. don't worry about people. As long as they don't put your, their hands on you, let them say whatever they want. You know, people talk about, about, they talk about me. They say all kind of stuff about me, honey. Folk I ain't never met before don't know nothing about me. Sitting there making up stuff. But you know what I found out? What? It ain't what folk call you, it's what you answer to. Let them say whatever the hell they want to say. Half the time, they're just jealous anyway. But this is what I found out. This is what I found out. You listen to me. All that matters is that when you wake up every morning, you look in the mirror and God is pleased with your life. That's what matters. And you know how you know, this is how you're going to know when God is pleased. If you ever wonder. When God please, everything you touch is blessed. You hear me? I, think so. I understand it, honey. I know it. I believe me. I know it. And that ain't my dear talking either. I know it. Do you hear me? All right. Sometimes it's hard, my dear. I get embarrassed. Why? Because my mother's in jail and she was a prostitute and, and my daddy is a pill. I was a stripper. My daughter, Christian. My dear. Hmm? You were a stripper? Yes, my name was Delicious. <laughs> Honey, just because your mama was something, your dad was something, that don't mean you have to be it. You can be whatever you want to be in this world, no matter where you come from. And I know that for a fact. You hear? Be whatever you want to be. This is still the greatest country in the world. No matter who running it, it's still one of the greatest countries in the world. Thank you, Medea. You're welcome, baby. You know, my mother has said that I should pray that she gets out. Then pray for her. That's what you should do, pray for her. But Medea, I don't know how to pray. Hmm. Will you teach me? Hmm. Medea. You can teach me something. If God looked down and see me on the call ID, he's gonna be like, uh uh, no, no. We, we, we can still try. All right, I hope he hears. I just, I just do what you do. Okay, bye here. Okay. What you doing? I'm trying to get low. Okay. Uh, God, Nim, all y'all up there in heaven, um, God of Abraham, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lincoln, God of Shadrach, Meshach, and that billy goat, I, God of Mary, J. Black. Medea, <laughs> come on now, you, you know that don't sound right. You don't pray much, do you? Yeah, I pray. Every time I'm at Walmart trying to write a check, I'm sitting there praying. Let it go through in the name of Jesus. I bind telecheck by the authority of the Holy Ghost. This check will not return unto me void. Honey, listen to me. Real prayer 
true prayers. You sit and having a conversation with God. Anybody can pray. Anybody can pray. Just say, in the name of Jesus. That's your stamp. That'll get it up there to his ear. Do you hear? All right. You reminded me of Peter right now. Peter who? Peter Pan in the Bible. He was one of the 12 disciplines. Oh. And they was on the ship, and uh, um, they were on this boat, and, and, and uh, they saw something out on the water walking toward them, and they got scared, and, they, and the thing that was coming toward them said, have no fear. And they said, oh, that's Jesus. Peter said, hey, Jesus, if that's you, let me come out there to you. And Jesus said, okay. So Peter got out the boat and started walking on the water toward Jesus. On the water? Yeah, see, you got to have faith to ask them kind of questions. So he stepped out of the boat and started walking on the water. Oh, that thing blessed me when I read it the other night. And as he was walking toward him, he kept his eyes on him. See, I don't go to church, but I read my Bible. Oh. Oh, yes. I, I sit there and I get, I, I get my own interpretations of what's happening. Okay. So as he was walking toward him on the water, he had his eyes on him and he stayed afloat. But then he took his eyes off and he started to sink. Sink? Yes. Do you know why? Why? The Bible says that Jonah and the whale swam right up under him while he was walking. He got distracted. He got distracted. He got distracted. He, you see, when you're trying to get your own deliverance, you can't look at somebody else's no. situation. You know, you got to keep your eyes on the prize. Yeah, yeah. So he was walking toward him. He, he got down up in the water, and Jesus said, don't worry, I'm not going to help. I'm not going to save you, but I'm going to send you a comforter. And oh. guess who went over there to get him? Who? Noah in the ark oh. came rowing over in the boat. Oh, like yeah. Noah got over there and helped him and pulled him up into the he boat. Sure Yes, because see, Noah had used the boat for 40 days and 40 nights, and they didn't need it no more. And the Bible, the Bible say, after, people wonder what happened to the boat. See, Noah wasn't no fool. No. See, the very thing that'll bless you and bring you over will be the thing that'll continue to be your blessing. Noah turned that boat into a cruise ship. That was smart. That's right. Tom joined to go on that boat every year. Every yeah, year. That's so every right. year. That's Noah's ark. That's Noah's ark. So anyway, Noah was there. And uh, he was, he was, because you know, people in the Bible go on vacation. They do? Yes. See, and uh, when Peter got on the boat, he was seeing people he ain't saying a long time. He said, What's up? How y'all doing? He saw Moses in there. He saw Aaron and uh, Isaac and Jacob. He saw yeah. them. And guess who else he saw? Because everybody was trying to get to her, but she was in the presidential street. She ain't won't be bothered. VIP. VIP. You know who she was? Who? E V E. Eve. 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 Eve was on the boat. Eve was, she on, was on the boat. Eve was on the boat because she had gave birth to the world. She was tired. Oh. So Eve was on the boat and uh, she went to see a show that night on the boat because they do these big shows and she got scratched by a lion. By a lion? That's how Eve get them two paws right there because that's where she got scratched oh, right there. From them animals. From the animals. The they animals. still on the boat. That's, that's right. Read I your Bible wondering. sometime. Read your Bible sometime, honey. Read your Bible. It'll bless you. Praise the Lord. Jeremy. Yeah. This child is up here. She upset about her family and, and she won't know about it. Come on up here. Okay. About the Lord and all that stuff. And I think I might have just sent her halfway to hell. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully you can catch her. <laughs> she won't know about prayer and stuff. I thought you could help her because you know the Lord. Yes. Well, leave that door open because I don't know you. Tony, God has a plan for your life. You may not understand everything you've been through up to this point in your life, but one thing you need to know about the Lord is that He is a friend that's to get closer than any brother. The Bible says that He'll never leave you nor forsake you, but it will be right there for you until the very ends of the world. Best revenge is massive success. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. Life will always be to a large extent what you make it. Not what circumstances will make of it. Not what other people will make of it. Not what other people say it will be. Not what the environment will try and dictate to you, but what you make of your life. What people think about you and the possibilities for your dream is none of your business. The attitude is it can't be done because they haven't seen it. History is being read, but it's also being written by people with imagination. He who would accomplish little must sacrifice little. He who would achieve much must sacrifice much. He who would attain highly must sacrifice greatly. Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hating. Get away from them. Get away from them. If you take an oak tree seed 
and you put it in a two foot pot, that seed will never become the oak tree that oak trees are capable of becoming because it's going to get stifled by the two foot pot. Now check this out. Ain't nothing wrong with the seed. The seed just fell prey to the environment. Don't you allow your environment to dictate the oak tree that you become. That's all for the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button and share. Also leave a comment if you have a topic you want us to cover. Until next time, take care.